Hi friends, in this video, we are going to solve problem on slip. The first formula, rotor phases is equals to rotor copper bars by number of poles. I told you already. I told you already what is the formula and based on this we done a problem also the previous problem we done either previous IES problem there is a previous IES problem they are giving a three phase a three phase four pole squirrel cage induction machine rotor having 28 slots rotor having 28 slots then tell me rotor phases tell me what is answer rotor phases is equals to rotor copper bars by number of poles what is answer is a seven phase machine this is previous ies question you can find in previous questions yes this is simply the first two formula and problem based on that right next to second formula next to second speed equations Next one, speed equations. In speed equation, we have Ns is equals to 120 F by P and S is equals to Ns minus Nr by Ns and Nr is equals to Ns into 1 minus S and slip speed is equals to slip speed is equals to Ns minus Nr and rotor frequency for positive sequence s into fs rotor frequency for negative sequence 2 minus s into fs 2 minus s into fs these are the formula and speed equation for example take one question one example for example one question a three phase 50 h three phase 50 h six pole induction motor six pole induction motor rotating h rotating h 900 rpm 900 rpm at full load rotating h 900 rpm at full load this is the question they given the data they are asking first question what is full load slip speed Full load slip speed. What is the full load slip speed for my question? Tell me the full load slip speed formula Ns minus Nr. Can you tell me what is synchronous speed for my question? 6 pole 50 H. 6 pole 50 H, the synchronous speed is 1000 minus the rotor speed. What is the rotor speed here? 900. So what is the answer? 100 RPM is my rotor speed, my slip speed. Very easy, sir, actually. Don't go for all these calculations. Just by seeing the question, we can tell the answer. Just by seeing the question, 6 pole 58 is nothing but 1000 RPM. And here rotor speed is 900. Actually, my synchronous speed is 1000. My rotor speed is 900. What is the slip speed? What is the reduced speed? 100 RPM. Is the full load slip. Second question, what is full load slip? What is full load slip? S is equals to Ns minus Nr by Ns. We know Ns 1000, 900, nothing but 100 by 1000, nothing but 10%. Yes or no? 10% or not? 10 by 100. 10 by 100, nothing but 10%. Yes, sir, 10%. Actually, no need of these calculations. By seeing the question, we can tell. Tell me, what is synchronous speed? 1000. What is rotor speed? 900. How much speed missed here? 100 RPM is the slip speed. 100 RPM is the slip speed. Can you tell me, 100 RPM, how much percent of 1000? 100 rpm is the slip speed, 1000 rpm is the synchronous speed. Can you tell me 100 is how much percent of 1000? 100 by 1000 or 100 is how much percent of 1000? 10% of 1000 is 100. 
So what is my slip? 10% is very, very easy. Yes or no? So it's the answer. By seeing the question, we can get the answer. No need to calculate. In induction machine, every question should be like that only. By seeing the question, we can expect the answer. Right. Next question. Next question. In this, I want half load slip speed. Half load slip speed. Can you tell me what is half load slip speed? X to load slip speed is equal to X into full load slip speed. X load slip speed is equal to X into full load slip speed. X into full load slip speed. What is X here? 1 by 2. What is full load slip speed here? 100 RPM. Tell me what is answer? 50 RPM is the half load slip speed. My half load slip speed is 50 RPM. Are you getting or not? My full load slip speed is 100 RPM. But half load slip speed is 50 RPM. At half load, how much speed is slipping here? Just 50 RPM is slipping here. Now, very important question. What is the rotor speed at half load? What is the rotor speed at half load? Can you tell me answer? What is the rotor speed at half load? Yeah, my rotor speed half load, 1000 minus, 1000 minus, how much speed is slipping at half load? At half load, my slip speed is 50 RPM. Nothing but my rotor is slipped 50 RPM. So 1000 minus 50, the answer is 950 RPM at half load. Full load rotor speed is 900. They are asking question. Full load rotor speed is 900 RPM. What is half load rotor speed? Everyone put the answer 450 is 100% wrong answer. Sir, full load 900 RPM, half load 450 RPM, sir, is the wrong answer, sir. Generally, if load reduces, speed increases. Yes or no? Half load nothing but load reduced by 50%. Then speed should increase, should increase like this. So, half load rotor speed I want. Before that, you have to find out half load slip speed. I know full load slip speed 100. Half load slip speed is equal to half into 100, nothing but 50 RPM. So, 50 RPM slipping at half load. My rotor speed is equal to 1000 minus 50, 950 RPM. And next question. What is half load slip? What is half load slip? Can you tell me what is half load slip? My full load slip is 10%. I given you already. My full load slip is 10%. Half load slip is equal to half into full load slip is the 5%. Yes or no? My half load slip is equal to half into full load slip is the 5%. Can you tell me what is 5% in 1000? Fast, fast. What is 5% in 1000? Tell me what is 5%? 5 by 100. What is 5%? 5 by 100. Half 1000. Zeros, zeros, guess cancel. What is answer? 50. How much percent? 5%. What is slip speed? 50. I given you already. I given you already. At half load, the slip speed is 50. I given you. You telling that at half load, the slip is 5%. I told you the same. Yes or no? So, if 5% slip nothing but in 1000, what is 5%? 50. 5% 5 slip nothing but 5% speed reduces. In 1000, 50 RPM reduces. If 50 RPM reduces, what is the speed? What is the speed? 950 RPM. 1000 minus 50 is the 950 RPM. It's very, very, very simple questions. This is generally the two mass question for gate also even. Yes or no? Okay. Now the next question. Now the next question. Next question. Now the next question. Fourth, fifth completed, right? Based on this, again, sixth question. My sixth question. Rotor frequency for positive sequence. Rotor frequency for positive sequence. Can you tell me what is answer? FR is equals to S into FS. What is my S value? Sir, my S value 10%, sir. S 
10%. What is my supply frequency? My supply frequency 50 Hz. 50 once, 50 twice. So answer is 5 Hz. 2 ones, 2 fives, 5 Hz. So my rotor frequency for positive sequence 5 Hz. It's very simple, sir, actually. If not the slip value, 10%. What is 10% of 50? In 50, 10%. What is 10% of 50? Sir, 5 hedges. No need to calculate. Every question by analyzing, we can get the answer. No need to put the pen in your paper. Just by analyzing, we can get the answer. Next question. Seventh question. Only based on this single question, I am solving nearly seven questions. Only based on this single question, I am solving seven questions. This is only the data. They are asking like a seven types of questions. I given you all the formulas on power equation. I am now solving the questions on every formula. Right. Next question. Can you expect what is next question? What is my next question? The rotor frequency for Negative sequence. Yes, very good. Rotor frequency for negative sequence. Tell me what is answer. Yeah, very simple, sir. Fr is equals to 2 minus S into Fs. Very, very important. Just remember, very important. So tell me what is value? 2 minus S. S nothing but S nothing but 10%. 10 by 100 into Fs. 10 by 100 into Fs. Tell me what is answer? Fr is equals to 200 minus 10. 190 by 100 into 50. 50 once, 50 twice. Twice, that's why, that's why 95 H. 190 by 2. 2 nines are 18. Yes or no? So 95 H. The rotor frequency for positive sequence 5H. The rotor frequency for negative sequence 95H. Rotor frequency for negative sequence 95H. Is the seven, seventh question. Seventh type of question only this single statement. Still we have questions. Next question. Next question. This is seventh one. Next question. Eighth question. Eighth question. Find out the rotor frequency. Find out the rotor frequency at half load. Find out the rotor frequency. Find out the eighth one. Find out the frequency of rotor EMF. Frequency of rotor EMF at half load. Or frequency of rotor current at half load. Our rotor frequency at half load. Rotor frequency is nothing but rotor EMF frequency. Is nothing but rotor current frequency. All are same. So they ask that rotor EMF frequency at half load. What is formula? Fr is equal to S into Fs. If we not mention negative sequence, we have to consider the positive sequence. If we mentioned especially negative sequence, we have to go for 2 minus S. But if we not mention, just positive. Tell me, what is rotor frequency at half load? The slip at half load we have to take here. What is slip at full load? 10%. If at full load, 10%. What is slip at half load? Half of the 10%. Nothing but 5%. 5%. Yes? 5% 5 of 50. Can you tell me what is 5% of 50? The 5% of 50 is 2.5H. 10% of 55 edges are. 10% of 55 edge. What is 5% of 50? 2.5 edge. 2.5 edge. This is the eighth question. Like that, they may ask any questions. Any questions. Okay? Next question. Ninth question, for example. Based on that, ninth question. Based on that, ninth question. What is the slip speed? Slip speed at 20% of load. Slip speed at 20% of load. What is answer? Generally, we know the formula at x to load. x to load slip speed is equals to x into full load slip speed. What is x here? 
ट्वेंटी परसेंट नथिंग बट वन बाय फाइव सो स्लिप स्पीड स्लिप स्पीड एट एक्स टू लोड स्लिप स्पीड एट एक्स टू लोड इज इक्वल टू एक्स इनटू फुल लोड स्लिप स्पीड x into full load slip speed we know full load slip speed is the 100 so what is answer 5 ones 520 is a so the slip speed slip speed at 20% of load at 20% of load 20 rpm slip speed at 20% of load 20 rpm this is another question see how they are asking the questions in competitive exams right last question last question 10th question on the same data now i want rotor speed at 20% of load rotor speed at 20% of load tell me what is answer rotor speed at 20% of load my rotor speed at 20% of load is equals to 1000 minus Tell me, thousand minus. We have to know the slip speed. We have to know the slip speed at twenty percent of load. What is slip speed at twenty percent of load? Twenty rpm. At twenty percent of load, my rotor is slipped at twenty rpm. At twenty percent of load, my rotor slipping, slipping at twenty rpm. So twenty rpm is minus. So thousand minus twenty RPM is nine hundred and eighty RPM. My rotor speed at twenty percent of load. My rotor speed at twenty percent of load. See how the important, how the very easy questions, right? Just based on this one statement, just based on this one statement, I asked you ten questions. I asked you ten questions. Like that, they are forming many questions. whatever the question by seeing the question you can get the answer just go through previous videos just go through carefully what are the speed equation just go through that then by reading the question you can get the answer within seconds right sir these are the questions type of questions they are asking in speed equation 